Have you ever had one of those moments where you swear that in the middle of the night something happened to cause your control system to go crazy? I had a switch that was erratically tripping. So we're gonna do a really basic data logging program to catch that. Hi, this is Tim, and I help you become a better technician so that you'll always be in demand. We're gonna start a new copy of Studio 5000, and we're gonna open up our controller tags, and we are gonna to go to the Edit Tag tab, and type button press lock and we'll hit the dialog box to the right of it and dim zero on this i'm going to make seven because we're going to log the exact time something happens and then dim one we're just going to store 10 of these now let's open up our main routine. And we're gonna start by just logging the basic button press. So we're gonna bring down an examine on, and I'm gonna be looking at our green button, which is local colon one colon I dot data dot zero. And I'm gonna label that as our green button. And then I'm gonna to go to the bits tab and bring down an ONS, and I'll make a tag called green button Rest, create, and then we're going to bring down a GSV instruction. You'll find that on the input output tab. And our class name is going to be wall clock time. And our attribute is going to be date time. And then we're going to put it into that green button press log zero comma zero. And go ahead and download that into your PLC. And if you need any help downloading your PLC, configuring drivers, or anything like that, we have a whole lesson series on it. Now, if we go to our controller tags and open up the button press log, then when I hit the green button, it's gonna give me the time. Now, this is a brand new PLC, so the time has not been set in it. So if you see something like 1998, that means you need to set the clock in your PLC. And to do that, we're gonna go to controller properties, which there's an icon right here for, or you can simply right click the top of the left pane and go to properties. And then we're gonna go to the date time tab and just click set date time from workstation. And now when we press the button, it shows us the current time that we pressed. So the next thing we would wanna do is capture multiple instances of things happening. And that's what we're gonna do in this video right here.